A very pleasant 45-minute train ride from the Swiss city of Lucerne brings one to Engelberg, arguably one of the most scenic train stations in Europe, certainly that I've ever visited. Resisting temptation to twirl around like Julie Andrews here, and yes, I know this is the wrong country for that, it's a short walk from the station, a fair wait in line at the ticket office, and a hell of a lot of Swiss francs paid over the counter later, before one can grab one of these delightful little cars and set off on the first leg of the cable car journey up to Mount Titlas. Stop sniggering. The Titlas Express initially climbs to nearly 1,800 metres above sea level to Trupsi, where one can alight and take a look back at Engelberg below, or stay in the car and ascend to the second stretch of the express, climbing a further 600 metres above sea level and over the first signs of snow along the way to Stand. It is here that the final leg and most unique part of the trip begins on boarding the Rotair, the first rotating cable car in the world. The problem, however, is, unlike the Express, there are only two cars on the Rotair cable route. Not only does this mean there's around a 10-minute wait for the next available car to come along, but also often a rather large crowd to fight through to get on board once it does arrive. But don't worry, there's always a second chance to get a spot by the window on the way back down. Once finally at the top, visitors are over 3,000 metres above sea level, resulting in breathtaking views across the Uri Alps and a chance to get a selfie with a cardboard cutout of the two stars from the cult Bollywood movie Di Vale du Hanye Les Hanye. Sadly, like the Rotaire, I couldn't fight my way through the crowd of Bollywood fans who come in their thousands here every year to see where their favourite movie was filmed to get anywhere near it so I had to content myself with the less popular sites and activities available on the peak. For example, skiing visitors can take the ice flyer over the glacier to the ski slopes below, or go below the station and take the 150 metre long walkway through the glacier cave, where the ice here is up to 5,000 years old. Icy works of art not quite as old are dotted along the route, and as so few visitors seem to come down here, one is free to glide through the cave like Elsa from Frozen and belt out the chorus to let it go. Only don't get too close to the regulators, otherwise the cold will bother you indeed. Once visitors have successfully braved the cold, they can try and brave the titless cliff walk a 100 metre long suspension bridge hovering 500 metres above any solid ground. As it is a suspension bridge, and apparently this is the highest one in Europe, it does tend to wobble about so, adding to the adrenaline rush or just the frustration of trying to get a decent photo over the side without bobbing about so much. Luckily for me, I did manage to get a position close to the window inside the Rotair cable car on the return journey back down to Stand. And it was well worth elbowing a few people out of the way to get this prize spot, because the 360 degree views enjoyed from the rotating car are absolutely stunning and takes one's mind and stomach off any possible motion sickness.